Hey guys, I'm gonna today I'm gonna show you how to use a tool called Geek Tool. It's an app in the Mac OS X App Store. It enables you to do certain stuff and things with your uh, desktop wallpaper. Uh, it enables you to, uh, yeah, like in the screenshot, show a time and a date behind a layer. I'm gonna show you how to make this with the layer on top of the time and how to show the time using Geek Tool. Um, well, I also have it on my desktop. This is an example. L on the left, you see uh, the date and the day, and on the right, you see uh, the time behind uh, the tree. Um, well, my computer is in Dutch, so uh, well, I'm gonna show you how to do this. First off, you need a wallpaper. Well, this is the one we're gonna use. Uh, just uh, simple with a tree, and we're gonna cut out the well the area below using Photoshop and I'm gonna show you how to do this first off open the wallpaper in Photoshop as I'm showing you here I'm disabling some stuff okay okay we've opened the wallpaper the first thing you want to do is click the rectangle with the circle in and on the left like that and then select the brush tool uh, then we're going to set the size a bit bigger and the hardness to 100%. And then we're going to yeah, let paint it red, paint the wallpaper red, in the area that we um, don't want in front of the time. So we're going to show you this really fast. Okay, going to speed things up a bit. Here we go. Alright, the next thing we want to do is uh, decrease the size a bit and the hardness because we're going to cut out and be, be more precise now as shown here. I'm going to do it a bit rough. If you want it really nice and clear you need to put in some extra time to do this. So uh, put down the hardness and put down the size so you can work more precisely. Again, I'm going to speed things up a bit now. Because you know you now have seen how this works. Okay, so now we're done. We have a rough cut out of the tree in the landscape. You want to do if you want to click the left button again, so that you've selected the tree in the landscape below. The thing you want to do now is copy it into a new project or new image with a transparent background. The thing you then want to do is save both layers as layer zero and layer one. Again, sorry for the Dutch uh, user interface using a Dutch uh, Mac OS X. So I'm going to save this one as a layer 0 or layer 1, sorry. On the desktop as an example. You'll, you can figure out where you want to put it for the wallpaper. Okay, so now that we've saved both layers removed the original file and first I'm gonna set layer 0 as my desktop wallpaper always takes a bit of time and there we go thing we want to do now is open up geek tool I've disabled my previous layers so we don't see them anymore and we're going to add, you're going to start off with a blank program. You're going to make a new layer called date time layer or whatever. You're going to enable it and you're going to drag a shell onto your desktop. Then you're going to see a setting screen and this file, we're going to need this stuff. You can find it in the description. In the command, you're going to paste the command and then it's going to show you the time. 
of course this is too small and ugly we're just gonna increase the size and uh, change the font a bit if your uh, text isn't shown correctly you can use the bottom right track thingy to uh, increase the size of the of the layer or the block or whatever how you want to call it searching for a font here we're gonna go with Calibri make it a bit bigger thing you're gonna do is is position it where you want to have have the layer where you want to have the time I mean so you want it a bit behind the yeah the, the landscape and the tree so we're gonna place it here and as a last step we're gonna place layer one we're not gonna do that right now now we're gonna drag another shell to get the PM or AM stamp that's a different command you can co combine these commands by the way but I want a different font size for the PM or the AM that's why I am doing it this way again going with Calibri pick a bit uh, bigger font size couldn't find a really good spot for this but this is just an example you can position it however you like and of course you can take whatever wallpaper you like okay now we're gonna do the day or, the, or we didn't do the, the day on this video I'm gonna only gonna show you the date of the month again October everything in Dutch and we are we are gonna want to position this on the right a bit behind the landscape and the tree okay the next thing we want to do is add the wall or the layer one the layer that's gonna go on top of the time and the date etc of course you're gonna enable it and then you're gonna drag the image block to your desktop then you're gonna set the path for the image of layer one so the layer that's gonna go over on top and then you're gonna see we have the image here it's just not the correct size yet thing we want to do now is set the size well I'm my desktop is 1920 by 1200 you're gonna want to do that and then drag it into place or just set the X and Y location to zero then it's gonna perfectly center it onto your desktop Okay, as I said before, the commands for this are in the description and also shown in this video, so you can copy paste them. Now we're going to sh uh, shut down Geek Tool, and this is how your desktop now looks. As I said before, I only did this roughly. If you really want it to look cool without glows, etc., the, the yellow glow at the one, you need to be more precise. Thanks, and please subscribe.